me and Kamari have had this debate several times about cap the idea of capitalism in general. His argument is is difficult to argue capitalism because he believes we've never seen true capitalism. I believe it's a point there. But I really believe, like just through reading it and what have you, is we've been brainwashed. I don't even want to say brainwashed, core about the tenets of capitalism. And because of that, it's hard for people to see that the flaws in capitalism uh, as it is. But I thought it was just an interesting debate. So check it out. I didn't fall on either side because I understand where where, uh, where Dr. Ball was coming from because I believe 100% that wealth is created by the government. That's kind of what he was saying, though. That is kind of what he was saying. <clears throat> But but the point that they were making were so it's kind of with two different conversations. One people were talking about macro, and some people were talking about micro, um, and that's kind of where a lot of this falls. Um, the debate about macro because we can all point to somebody who's had a level of success within the system. We all like you know we all like I don't want to say we all, but a lot of us we know people with multi millions, and who are successful that look like us. But when we talk about overall black wealth, it's nasty work. Yeah. It's, it's disgusting. It's truly disgusting when we talk about the masses. It's nasty. Like, look at the data. It's just nasty. No, it's it's, it's terrible. And I'm gonna um, go over some data in a second too, just about what's going on in the world. Because even outside of um our community, some people are are feeling the pinch of what's happening in the economy. Others aren't. But the data just continues to come out, and none of the data looks good in in, in terms of anything. In terms of um. You know, house buying uh, products, the, the number of products being sold. I'm going to be very interested to see the numbers that come from this upcoming holiday season. That'll be very telling. One thing I know about our community, though, we find a way, though. Man. Man. Something may get paid, but we're going to make sure that uh, that Christmas look right. You wild. But that's really how it go. Yeah, man. So, yeah, but folks is out here feeling a pinch and... You know, I know um, sometimes online I don't feel that way, but another thing which is interesting is watching the quote unquote influencers, how they like are pivoting, man. The business credit thing is so hilarious to me. Everybody pivoting that way. Not my fault. Business funding. Let me say it right, how they say it. The pivots are absolutely insane, but that's a sign of what's going on in the world. Anyway, with everybody watching, man, I don't want to be too doom and gloom about what's going on, man. Have you saw a change in people's behavior as it pertains to finance um, in your life or in your world? That's what I would like to know. Like, are people cutting back on things? Are you cutting back on things? Uh, I'm cutting back on everything, dog. Like, my, my finances is kind of tore up right now. I can't even lie because I just moved across the country. You know what I mean? I'm settling mm -hmm. in my new crib. So I'm, you know, trying to get things fixed around head. Then me and my wife are supposed to be closing on the property um, at the end of the month. I got my son, um, you know, I'm, I got smacked in the head with payments because his they messed up his financial aid because they gave him financial aid like he's 18, 19 years old. My son is 16. So I had to redo his whole financial package. But meanwhile, I got to pay until <laughs> his Ooh. new financial aid package come through. Hmm. So I got mangled. I, got, I caught a, you know, a straight bus, not even a straight bullet. I caught a straight bus. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, catching that straight bus was nutty. So, um, yeah. But I'm just interested to see, like, um, have you guys noticed in your own life um, people cutting back?